I, Damon Owens here, I, I know I'm in darkness, but so are you, according to Scripture. Scripture says we are a people in darkness. And Jesus, in our readings today, on this March 14th, the fifth Monday in Lent, fifth week in Lent, that he is the light of the world. And here in this confrontation with the Pharisees, he's a light that promised to change the way that we see things. That's what light does. That's why it's, it's an analogy that works across all time and all culture. We understand what light can do. But in this sense, it's the Lord speaking about light revealing a truth. This, I think, is the thread with our readings today. That as much as we even to this day understand that analogy and that, 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 that reality of light, the readings today speak in a very uh, beautiful way, connecting the old and the new covenant about what light does in revealing truth. You see, right before John 8 in this gospel reading, if you read just before, it's, a, it's an encounter that's not unlike what happened in the book of Daniel in the first reading, where the Pharisees now bring the woman caught in adultery, and Jesus in a similar way that the prophet Daniel does in using the searching for the truth and way Susanna herself appealed to God herself to provide light and truth and protection. Our Lord writes in the dust and asks whoever is the first to not commit sin to cast the first stone. You remember that story. Then in our reading today in John 8, he says, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life. But the way Jesus rolls is that it's not just some light. He actually provides even more light for us to see ourselves, to see the world that's around us, to be able to perceive truth. Here's the power of the gospel. Here we are approaching Easter, and the light that we can experience in the natural will be given to us in its fullest supernatural time. My favorite time of the Mass, my favorite Mass of the year is the Easter, when that that darkness of the mass of Easter comes in, and we begin with that, that beautiful exalted in the darkness. You know what the candles. Exultet yam angelicum tubo celorum. Hopefully your deacon or priest can sing. And that exalted is gorgeous. And the candles are lit, and the lights come on. And Jesus, the light of the world, takes that human natural analogy and experience and says, if you can see now with your eyes, imagine being able to see with your heart. Susanna appealed to that light in the first reading, and Christ proclaims in his fullness that all the accusations, all the judgment, all the meaning of the world really takes its fullest meaning when he is present. So may this Easter, this Lent prepare us for an Easter that allows the light of God to enter into our own hearts, to enter into our own lives, and to show us all the, the blemishes and all the things that we might want to hide in darkness, but give them over to the Lord so that he can purify them. He can draw us to what true beauty and true life and true love, and all the things that we long for. Light, it's an analogy that works in every age and in any culture. Lord, bring us your light.